first news. Wow. Look what Melania just did to her entire flight crew after what happened to her staff. Melania Trump doesn't have a personal staff as big as Michelle Obama's was, which was an intentional decision she made to cut back on unnecessary spending. Operating with a team of professionals who each have an important purpose, our compassionate First Lady shows sincere gratitude for each person who helps her, recognizing that it's a privilege. So when she saw how they were treated recently, Melania responded in a surprising way or of protection for the people who help her do her job. Melania doesn't speak often unless she has something meaningful or important to say. She saves her words for when they matter most, especially since the liberal media is waiting with bated breath for a chance to twist anything she says or does. Today she said something that won't soon be forgotten, especially by her entire flight crew who her remarks were directed at. While Melania is traveling around the globe on her first overseas trip as First Lady, she's on Air Force One just about daily, going from one location to the next. It's a lot of travel and flight time, which she's become somewhat used to as she flies frequently while living in New York, but having First Lady duties in Washington, D.C. With this much time in the sky and need to rely on her flight crew she and her staff are dependent on, the team has gotten to know the personable First Lady and they aren't just any flight crew. Melania and her staff are transported by the U.S. Army 1-214th Aviation Regiment who have always shown the First Lady and her staff the utmost respect in doing this important job. This is something that hasn't gone unnoticed by Melania who likes others to know how much they are appreciated, rather than just taking advantage of it the opportunities afforded her like her predecessor seemed to do. Even though she's overseas right now, Melania hasn't forgotten about her awesome army men who she publicly thanked today on Twitter going into this Memorial Day weekend. Like her husband, our First Lady has a love and respect for our military. Thank you to the at Userme1-214th Aviation Regiment for getting me and my staff to our MTGS safely. Hashtag G7 Hashtag Catania Hashtag Italy, Melania tweeted from her official Twitter account today. She didn't have to say a word and perhaps nobody would have expected her to, but the fact that she remembered them and made a point to thank them for their service to she and her staff, speaks volumes as to the incredible First Lady we have in the White House. The gesture wasn't just well received by the American public who appreciated her thoughtfulness to our military, other servicemen and women saw her social media message and responded with gratitude. Thank you at Flotus for representing the USA and making our armed forces proud. Hashtag Memorial Day, one reader replied. Inevitably, the liberals came out in the comments too, as they always do as soon as Flotus posts anything, since they are waiting for it. One took the opportunity of seeing the photo of Melania with the Army flight crew to ask about her husband's service in an accusatory way, claiming he dodged the draft. A wise citizen responded to it, effectively putting this troll in their place. Not serving doesn't mean you're a draft dodger. He registered. Lots of guys did and got deferments. Some actually left the country, the Twitter user wrote. What's truly remarkable is that Melania is an immigrant and has more respect for our armed forces and genuine love for our country than ungrateful degenerates who were born here and seem to hate it. Our First Lady is proof that immigrants who come to America the right way are proud citizens who have a deep appreciation for what makes America great, and that starts with our military. It wasn't often or ever that the Obamas showed this kind of gratitude for anyone who flew them around safely. In fact, our former president couldn't even bring himself to salute soldiers standing outside Air Force One or Marine One to welcome him. We've come a long way in the White House in a short time, with the Trumps there now who truly love this country and respect its citizens. Second news, Melania leaves in middle of meeting with France's liberal first lady, here's stunning reason why. First Lady Melania Trump was in Brussels, Belgium yesterday where she had a planned meeting set up with France's Liberal First Lady Bridget Macron. The two met at the Magritte Museum while President Trump was giving a verbal lashing to members of NATO not far away. Melania quickly left after posing for a photo with Mrs. Macron only to return a short while later. Now we know the stunning reason she departed in the middle of her meeting with Macron when it was immediately seen what she did when she returned. Mrs. Macron recently filled the role as First Lady at the conclusion of a tumultuous political campaign in France that somewhat resembled the presidential campaign between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Thankfully, America ended up with Trump as our leader, but France got the male version of Hillary Clinton, 
who only plans to keep welcoming in more Muslims regardless of how many terror attacks take place in their country. Melania looked stunning when she arrived at the museum to meet with Bridget, as she was wearing an ensemble appropriate for the occasion and location. The 47-year-old donned a leather skirt suit by Belgian designer Maison Owens in Manolo Blahnik snakeskin heels, Mail Online reports of Melania's elegant attire. She had just come from a visit to a children's hospital, as one of her many trips to visit sick kids in literally every location where she touches down. She came straight from the hospital to join a group of NATO spouses on a tour of the Magret Museum in Brussels, where she left shortly before the others. The next stop on Melania's itinerary that day after the museum was to join the NATO spouses at the Royal Castle of Laken where they had all planned to meet Belgium's Queen Mathilde. However, before arriving there and after leaving the museum, Melania made a quick detour before arriving at the castle where she perfectly upstaged Bridget. Melania decided to make a quick change ahead of meeting the Queen and in doing so sent an incredible message with her appearance. While Bridget, 64, and a few of the other women opted to leave on what they wore to the museum, Melania slipped on an off-the-shoulder, black lace gown and scrappy stiletto sandals before rejoining the rest of the group at the royal residence, the Daily Mail reports. Melania beamed her megawatt smile as she toured the luxurious grounds looking radiant and the picture of class and elegance. The same couldn't be said for some of her liberal counterparts who appeared grumpy looking, as the Daily Mail described. Our first lady wasn't done stunning here, as she reportedly changed once more before returning back to Sicily to attend an event with the president. It's of note to mention that the gorgeous black lace dress Melania donned around the ladies was designed by her proud supporters at Dolce & Gabbana. While countless designers refused to dress the first lady, making public statements for attention about boycotting her, their brands don't get to grace this beautiful woman who stuns in absolutely everything she puts on. Part of what makes Melania so beautiful isn't just what she looks like on the outside, but who she is on the inside which is just as beautiful. Earlier in her jam-packed day in Brussels, she made time to stop in and visit with the children at Queen Fabiola Children's Hospital. She put all of her attention on them, coloring with the kids, doing arts and crafts, and talking to each one individually on a personal basis. The Daily Mail reports, the 47-year-old was all smiles as she took selfies with the children while presenting them with several gifts, including Dr. Seuss books and souvenirs from the White House. Melania was presented a bouquet of paper flowers during her visit, and she happily gave one to each child before posing for photos with them. For the visit, Melania was the picture of elegance in a leather suit, but her outfit didn't stop her from joining the children in an arts and craft project. Melania was photographed sitting down with the patients to make paper flowers together, and she carefully constructed a red flower for herself using tissue paper and a wooden skewer. The first lady was completely focused on the children, and she was photographed squatting down and putting her arm around their backs as she spoke to them. This was a choice that was all hers to do and an incredible habit she has as she'd been to a hospital in every single location she's been to recently. That alone proves how important this compassionate work is to her and not just a photo op as she's been accused of. Michelle Obama went on rare occasion to children's hospitals when she was first lady and it most certainly was a photo op for her since she almost seemed pained to be there. On the contrary, Melania makes it a priority and literally blesses these kids with her presence as she prays for them. While it wasn't intentional to upstage anyone, Melania does that naturally with the beauty she exudes which is certainly far more than skin deep. The third news, Melania just got out of car at G7 Summit and shocks everyone with what's in her hand, as the president and first lady's whirlwind trip around the globe comes to an end, the couple landed back in Italy after having spent almost the entire day before in Brussels, Belgium. They're in Tarmina. Sicily for the next two days as they attend their first G7 summit with other world leaders. However, when the presidential pair arrived, all attention was on Melania again as she exited the car and people saw what she had in her hand. The star of the multi-country trip has been Melania, who wasn't intending on being the center of attention, but effortlessly became so simply by the incredible class she exudes. She says far more with her actions than she does with her words which she saves for when necessary and typically to say something genuine and compassionate to someone who needs to hear it. Today, something else did all the talking for her and the media can seem to say enough about it. Next to her kindness and effortless class, Melania is known for her style which she nails in everything she wears. 
For every occasion, she has the perfect outfit that she picks herself, unlike Michelle Obama who had a team of stylists and designers lined up to dress her, who didn't seem to do any style favors. Melania doesn't just dress herself and look stunning every time, she pays for her own designer attire out of her and Donald's own finances, rather than taxpayer funds. When she emerged from the car today outside the G7 summit meeting she was not only wearing a stunning $51,000 floral jacket by famed designer Dolce & Gabbana who were one of the only fashion designers to stand up in her defense, but she was holding a special clutch by them as well. The exquisite accessory that coordinated with the jacket retails for $1,630 which being a trump, she can certainly afford the pricey pair without making the American people pay for it. As expected. The hateful media went after her with a vengeance over her choice in attire, namely the colorful jacket. It's a humorous reaction given that Michelle Obama rarely looked like a respectable first lady despite having a team of people dressing her and doing her hair and makeup. The leftist media was also silent when Michelle showed up in Italy this week wearing grossly inappropriate clothing for going to a Catholic cathedral with a staunch dress code. Her shirt selection was merely a couple pieces of cloth hanging off of her chest held together by a few strings on her arm. These sudden fashion critics reserved their commentary for our classy first lady who departed from a black fashion trend on the trip for something more colorful. If there's one person who is especially appreciative of Melania's apparel choices it's Gabbana himself who has every reason to share his excitement about it on social media. Gabbana has been celebrating each appearance with Instagram posts, conservative post reports. He shared three photos of the floral jacket worn over a simple white shift dress, with the U.S. First Lady looking model perfect stepping out of an SUV. Gabbana tagged the photo with hearts in a thank you to add Flotus hashtag Melania Trump. Melania couldn't have looked happier as she made her way to join the rest of her group, despite a lengthy few days that have seen her completing several official engagements, while her husband President Trump has met with several world leaders, Daily Mail reported. As Melania was decked out to the nines, she upstaged her French counterpart once again within a 24-hour time period. France's new First Lady Bridget Macron opted for a far more casual appearance again, which was her style in Brussels while with Melania, this time wearing white skinny jeans and sandals. Melania just dresses her style in things she loves, not to outshine someone else, which seems to happen no matter what since she's so stunning. Her appearance is just the icing on the package as Melania is so much more than what she looks like. She's a genuinely caring, compassionate person, with a heart for kids, especially her own who she puts first. Her most important roles are as a mother in life, which she takes seriously and leads for others to do as well by her own sincere example. It's hard not to draw a comparison between our current and former first ladies since it's so vast. Conservative Americans couldn't be more excited to have an exceptional woman like Melania representing our nation on the world stage. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.